Ahoy, mateys! Are you ready to take the maiden voyage of your life? Today, I'm gonna teach you how to create this really cool nautical themed water bottle, perfect for those hot summer days on the water. Since this is our first time doing vinyl on Recoma Crafts, I'm gonna teach you how to use the Sign Master software, use the vinyl cutter, and transfer it onto our final product. As usual, we want to know how much space we got to work with, so the first thing we're gonna do is measure the space on our bottle. From the bottom of the white line here, all the way to the top of the curve, we have about six and a half inches. One more thing, guys. Remember, you're gonna need a final PNG file to put into the Sign Master software, and whatever dimensions are on that PNG design are gonna be the final dimensions that are gonna come out on our vinyl cutter. Let's fire up Sign Master and I'll show you. Let's start by making a new document. Let's import our file. I have mine right here. Make sure that it is a PNG. Go to the top menu and select the first apple. Create cut contour. Say yes and come to the bottom and click on the middle tab, the composite tab. It's gonna give you a higher contrast view. Play with the opacity and then play with the tolerance settings by sliding the lever left and right and click trace. As you can see, we are missing some small details like the eye on Ricoma and the center of the A here and here. To get those details back in, move the minimum size slider over to the left and when you see all the blue outlines, click apply, then click accept. Before we send it to the cutter, we can remove the graphic from our cutting outline. Click back inside, make sure you select the graphic, delete, and now you can place the outline on the edge for easy cutting. And now we are ready to prep our vinyl on the cutter and get this design done. First, let's load our vinyl. Make sure it's permanent vinyl. Did you know you can use and reuse sticker vinyl up to three years and with permanent vinyl, you have up to 48 hours before it sets up permanently. Unroll your edge, guide it gently through the rollers, make sure that it's straight, rest it, and lock it up. There are three settings we have to change. On the screen, we want to go to settings. For our speed, I'm gonna do 400. Then for our cutting force, I'm gonna do 350. The last setting is down here on the cutting die. We want to dial it down to four. We're gonna test the force of our cutting. Go to the button and we're gonna get a little rectangle. If it's easy to peel out, we're at the perfect force. If it perforates the vinyl all the way through, we know we gotta adjust it lighter. And if it's too hard to peel, then we gotta adjust it harder. Bring it forward. Use your hands because if it's easy to peel this way, then it'll be easy to peel with the weeding tool. Now we're ready to send the job to the vinyl cutter and perform our area test. Say yes. Cut now. And yes. And there it goes. And now we cut it. All right, let's weed it. I found out through practice that it's easier to weed the little details out first, like the center of the A here. Pick it up gently, and with this handy dandy tool, you can just discard the extra pieces. And then keep going.
I think we are ready to peel, guys. Grab your vinyl, peel the corner. Once you have it, roll it at a 45 degree angle and super close like this. That way, your main letters or design stay on the vinyl. Gently at an angle, nice and low. And all of our tiny little letters should all be in place, except the A wants to roll. So let's help her out. Grab your reading tool. Get it back out of there. That was a nice clean peel. Grab your transfer paper. And now, same thing, we peel it. There it is. Discard the paper. Align the center line with your design. And as you can see, I already made two marks on my grid to know my top and my bottom. Here we go, middle line right through the middle. Grab your squeegee. So that our letters adhere to our transfer paper. Now we're gonna prep our surface by grabbing our microfiber cloth and spritzing it with some alcohol. Now we're gonna peel it with our transfer paper so we can place it on the bottom. Remember, the lower you roll, the easier they're gonna come off. Nice and slow. How beautiful is that? Position your bottle. We're gonna place this right in the center, laying the middle of the design first, all the way through, and then the edges. Grab your squeegee and make sure that you go over every part of your design. To the other side. And we're ready to peel. Remember our peeling technique? Nice and low, nice and slow. And voila. And look how good this came out. The graphic for this episode is in the link in the description below. And remember, if you love what we do for you here in the channel, Hit that like button, subscribe to help us grow, share the episode with the people you love, turn on the notification bell so you always stay up to date with the latest episode because there's a world of creativity waiting for you here at Ricoma Crafts. Until the next time.